Where's the other? Oh, I think this guy right here. No? Oh, there he is. Oh, we missed him. We missed him. <laughs> well, that worked. All right, let's grab all the loot real quick. Get all the assault rifle ammo we can carry. Um, boost back up on our, on our armor if we can. I saw some health right around here. This is the exit. We'll take that in a second. Sad. <laughs> I'm not going to help you with sad. My commands will not make you unsad if you are sad. Laughing, being cheery. And maybe saying hi to me could help you from being sad. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh, it actually showed the guy hopping in the back of that. Oh, we don't have any grenades. I was trying to throw grenades at those guys. They sure are throwing grenades at me, though. You should make that the message for sad. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, I, I can do that. That actually would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? I love how instead of, um, instead of using the giant cannons on this to just kill me, they send out a little drone that's easily shot down. Oh, actually, we might die from it. There we go. And, like, a couple dudes who I just murdered. Nice. Ah, there is some loot out here. Where is the loot? It is behind me. It's like a little, it's like a little trophy underneath the, uh, underneath the car, randomly. Find Anya and get the hell away from this. All right, we found Anya. Jasper, you like the new mug? So we, we kind of passed out there while we were driving. Um, and so we didn't, like, obviously we've been comatose basically for 14 years, so we still have a couple mental injuries due to the shrapnel. Still, we're still are having a lot of problems. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her reaction... The reaction to the fact that he is USA, probably USA. the I'm sorry. best Always Nazi burning. killer in the entire world is a little odd. Where'd She's you? just like, yep, yep, everything's cool, everything's cool, I'm a, everything's cool. Also, I would like to marry you and you're a wonderful guy. <laughs> they were harboring the most prolific military like, Nazi killer in the entire world.
So these are her grandparents, I believe. Her parents being dead um, at the asylum. You actually see this guy hop in there if you go out the doors fast enough, which was pretty neat. I love how he tries to, like, <laughs> he tries to whack our Greek god of a body with, with a small golf club. <laughs> He's like, wah! <laughs> Don't hurt me! I grieve for their dead. Such raw sorrow. And the grandma slaps him in the face. Can't partake. None would flood oceans. Would damn right, damn right, grandma. Get him! I let it out. It's 1960. <laughs> 1960? Yes. yes. You've stayed with us for 14 years. There we go. 14 years. There's the proof. I have to find a way to contact the U.S. military. I gotta find my unit, let them know I'm alive and ready for duty. There's no more war. There it's is no war. U.S. military. No more military. No. The war ain't over. Look at all these Nazis walking around. They won. It's over. The Nazis rule the world now. They are everywhere. Everywhere. What about the U.S.? <laughs> this game, it's okay to give away spoilers yeah, because we've played it. Everyone's played it. Um, we just played it a week oh, ago, a right? Surrenders. They surrendered. Because of you. Oh. Atom bomb. They surrendered 12 years ago. He's like, holy <laughs> shit, my country. Everyone I know. <laughs> yes. Well, then I'll find the resistance. I'll find them and I'll help them fight. Oh, no, no, no. More resistance. Wrong, Grandma. Wrong. We're going to find the resistance and we're going to kill them. them. Kill all of the pigs. The piggies. Who can say where they keep them? Is there anyone we have on hand? Is Sweden okay? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm guessing probably not. Because they've taken over everywhere. I am a trained and experienced field coordinator working on behalf of Generalstrasse himself. This guy. Do you know how much misfortune you are in? If you do not release me, there is no point in keeping me here. I don't think it matters if you're neutral. I'm pretty sure Poland was neutral as well. And maybe it wasn't. If you let me go immediately, you have my word on this. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter to the Nazis if they, if you were neutral. <laughs> but but we, we were neutral. Yeah, and and then they marched their armies through, killing everyone they don't like, as you just saw them do in Poland. Okay. This guy was like, if you release me, I'll be super lenient. And I'm like, I'm a brain-damaged Nazi killer trained to fight, and I'm going to kill you if you don't tell me the information we have. So we're going to we're gonna walk around this room. There's a chainsaw, which we're going to use to torture him. But before we torture him, we're going to put some goggles on. Yeah, we have shrapnel in our head. See? And he's like, I'm superior to you. And we're like, we don't give a shit because we're going to kill you. But he, he's still not scared, apparently. So now we're going to get our our apron to look even more intimidating. No, thank you. Okay. And I think, I don't think there's anything else in here right now so now we're gonna now we're gonna intimidate him with the weird looking old chainsaw oh there's a there's a hatchet here as well kind of wish we could use that instead <laughs> brain damaged oh he got up please leave me alone <laughs> he's like oh my hand hurts <laughs> Tell you how this is gonna work. Let's retie him real I'm quick. Ask you one question. 
You are going to answer that question in a way I find satisfactory. And if you do not, I will saw your head off with this here appliance. You hear me? <laughs> Get the fuel! I, I love how he calls it an appliance, so too. He doesn't even call it a chainsaw. Where are you? With this here appliance. Resistance fighters. I'm sure. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no resistance. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all hopeful because we can't start it. <laughs> and he's like, oh, damn it. Not again. Jasper, BJ is not like a normal human. I hope you realize that. What do you want to know? The resistance fighters, where are they? Berlin, Eisenwald, prison. I'll tell you in a second once we finish this cutscene, Steen. You never make it there. There are checkpoints everywhere. Looking for you, looking for you. Looking for you and the nurse. And soon they will find this place. And then you will be on your knees! Wrong. So, uh, that guy was stowed away in the trunk of the stolen car that we took. Um, when we started shooting at the car at the asylum, he jumped into the trunk to try and avoid being killed. And then we stole the car and drove here, and then he, we found him in the trunk. And so we're torturing him to figure out where the resistance is. And this badass granddad. Is defending his daughter's honor. I mean, his granddaughter's honor. I think it's his granddaughter. I'm not sure. We ask for your mercy, Lord, as we make to journey across dark waters. Grant us sound feet and silent breath. Refuge from this. This grand, this granddad really is a badass. He's awesome. And safe passage. Mid's hungry wolves. Mixed hungry wolves. You're like, oh shit, no. And the granddad blows his entire head off with a double barreled shotgun. <laughs> Can I pause the game? I need to get some food. Yeah, sure. Just uh just let us know when you get back. Um, we'll probably, we'll probably only pause it for about 30 minutes. Um, everyone just go ahead and take a break. Let's all go get food. Um, and I'll be right back. Just kidding. For real though, I do have to pee. So I'm going to go use the restroom real quick and I will be right back. And that'll give you a chance to run and get food if you really need to. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're not going to pause it for very long. I am all powerful. I control the streamer. I control everything. <laughs> no, but seriously though, um, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Thank you all for coming out. I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys, um, and I will be right back. And uh, Jasper, you better hurry up and get your damn food because I'm fast. <laughs> See you in a second. All right, Jasper, I hope you got that uh, hurried 30-second food in. Um, we're going to continue. Yeah, GG is right. You can. I don't know if you were referring to Jasper manually pausing the stream. Mmm, chicken. Or the granddad blowing the head off of that Nazi. But either one seems fantastic. Let's do this. I'm going to, get again, get all the loot in these areas that we can. I stay with God. This granddad is ridiculous. He's like, no, no, you stay in car, Nazi killer machine, go kill all the Nazis. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. You Nazis messing with my friends. All right. So once we find the... <laughs> he did, I missed it. Oh yeah, he did. See the headless Nazi? 
he killed him with the double barrel shotgun. He's like, go on, shoot the Nazis. All right, we're going, we're going. So we're gonna creep under this. There's also an item under here that we can grab on our way through, um, and that'll all, and it'll help us silent kill these guys. I think we have a throwing knife. No, we do not have a throwing knife yet, so we need to be careful. Um, we're gonna wanna find a pistol with a silencer as well. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna be knifing these guys. I think the item is like, where is it? It's definitely somewhere in here. Hmm, I don't really remember. Once we get the map though, we can find this entire area. We can find all of the things in this area, so I'm not too worried about finding them like right now. But I did, I did think that there was one in here, but I guess not. I guess I'm remembering wrong. Or we're just missing it. Okay. Oh. So this comes out right near one of the guys. This goes into the initial compound, the the first building of this area. Um, and in here we can, I believe, the first commander that we're supposed to hit and kill is here as well. All right, got our silenced pistol. Make sure the silencer is actually on it. Yeah, okay, now we can see where the commanders are. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Isn't he great? I love his character. It's re it's so it's so funny. Go to sleep now, child. I mean, advanced Nazi uh, operations manager. I think we're going to get seen here. We shouldn't be going this way. There's a guy right out there. Yeah, we're gonna get seen. Alright, we're gonna do it anyway. We can restart from the last checkpoint if we do get seen. There's a way to flank behind this and in a much more effective manner, but... Alright, one down. Okay. Gotta be tactical here. I think there's one more guy up here. And there's also a, a silenced, a suppressed sniper rifle that we can use um, to kill a lot of these guys without making any noise. There is one guy over there. I think last time we came through here, we got seen by that guy. So we're gonna we're gonna drop back down, back here, climb up this ladder, and that's where the sniper rifle is. And I, I, oh, it's from inside actually. So we need to go inside the compound. Don't remember exactly. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Maybe we can only get in from the top floor. You can also kind of use this, uh... This pistol as a sniper rifle. We just dropped this oper operative right over there. From about halfway across this map area. How the hell do you get in there? I forget. Oh, there it is. There's just a... There's just a door. A door. Oh, we can't get... Huh. Maybe there is a way to get inside this area? That we're just missing? Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, we can get in there, okay. It looks like those are stairs that lead up to it or something. Just gonna keep taking these guys out as we move around. Um, to try and avoid being seen. Should be one right across this way as well. Here we go. Wow, this is annoying me that we can't get up there. I, I could have sworn we could get up there. Oh, maybe it's through this door that we jumped down. Let's loot this guy and see if he gives us a key or something. He gives us more ammo, which is good, I guess. Yeah, so I think... 
I think that's a, a primary difference between these two these two timelines is that with in the Fergus timeline you can um, hotwire things, and in the uh, Wyatt timeline you lockpick things, which is it's it's kind of a weird random mechanical difference in the game. Not really sh not really sure why they added that difference, but it's kind of cool, I guess. But that does mean that we need to find different ways to get around certain puzzles and obstacles. Like, maybe get into this place for using a hot wire tool. Or something of that manner. Because we can no longer pick locks, and that's what was frustrating me earlier, is that, like, the shotgun we'd found by picking a lock was no longer there. And we can't get into this building anymore. Grab all the loot. Ah, there's a throwing knife. Nice. Like, it used to be we could lock pick this door right here. And just walk in and then climb all the way up to the top of this tower. It's no longer an option, though. Okay, let's actually, let's go kill this guy first. The second guy, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's, let's go through the top. It's a lot easier to sneak up on him from up here. Yeah, that does seem sort of random. Yeah, I know. It's it's kind of weird. Hmm. Strange. Okay, we'll, we'll work on getting that once we've cleared this whole area out. The guy is in right there. We're going to go into this upper window. And drop down and take him down with an assassination. Maybe I have to get on this bar over here before we hop up. Yep. Alright, there's the second sniper rifle that you can access. Got him. That's that. Back to the car. Not yet. So he said back to the car, um, which is our current mission, and that'll trigger a cutscene, um, which will bring us to the next area. But first, we're gonna try and grab the map to this area and all of the loot. I don't really remember where the map and all the loot is. Grab another throwing knife. Kind of cool is that all knives, like little table knives, become throwing knives in this game. So you can just grab them and use them um, to silently take down targets. <laughs> 